Hey folks, welcome back to Real Estate Investing Unmasked. Today, we're gonna to talk about plumbing. Right here is the pipe that is the water coming in to the house. The black pipe is a P-trap that's already set for the, for the bathtub and another, and the exhaust air, because you have to have a way for the air to come out. So you got air that's going to come up and exhaust up. You got air for the toilet that's going to come up and exhaust up. Both of them come together. I've cut that one so I can move it because it needs to be moved just a little bit. I'll put a coupling on it. But this is one of the issues I have with with the pipe with the plumbing is getting the water in. So in this area, it does freeze just barely. So you kind of don't want to have the the water running along the exterior wall, and that you're going to find in the middle in in the in the uh, northeast and, and uh, midwest and all that, where it gets cold. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this PVC, thinking about cutting it right here, cutting that pipe there, maybe having the, the PVC come up on this side and the exhaust be on this side. And that would allow me to come up and move to put a water spigot right outside. So I have a hose bib outside. And then to run the cold water all the way up, and then over across. here I'm connecting the water supply to the rest of the house. I've already got it up connected through the PVC and out the wall for the hose bib. And this is actually a really easy process working with PEX. It can be pretty strong, um, but as you've seen, I've already cut it. I'm about to slide on a little ring, a little clamp. Once you get the clamp in place on the hose, you just have to finagle it push it around and get it on top of the T's that you have in there. And once it's on the T's, slide the ring down and then you'll take a crimper and the crimpers aren't too expensive, uh, but it is a pretty expensive part of installing PEX. But once you have the tool, you, you've got it made. So once you've got it aligned, you pull out the crimper and you tighten it up. Now this crimper that I had, it had two, it had three little handles Technically, I had the two that you pulled together, but I had a second one in the middle because it, it ends up being a huge, wide um, handle as far as tightening this thing up. So use the, the small one in the middle plus the side to tighten it, and then once that gets closer, then you can use the, both sides to tighten it up the rest of the way. Here, yeah, I'm putting it in the ladder. I'm going to be climbing up and installing the pecs up above. This is what I'm using, the three-quarter by three-quarter by half inch because I'm going to be teeing off to get a half inch supply over to the sink. I have a three quarter inch supply coming from the house or from outside the house. And here's a great example of what happens when you don't slide the clamp all the way down. It doesn't clamp over properly. Today's a pretty hot day, it's about 100 degrees, but what I wanna show you is how to install uh, the hot water and cold water PEX line uh, a little bit easier. Here's so. the deal, we wanna have the cold water obviously on the right side and the hot water on the left side. So I've got these, this little bracket here. Um, it's, I think, a 20-inch bracket. The studs are 16-inch on center, so that's plenty fine. So what you want to do is you want to run this, this bracket up first, up the line. Then you want to put on this hose, this, these little uh, these brackets like this. And the easiest way I have found is to get the piece that goes into the bracket. See that groove right there? Notice how there is no groove on that side. So this groove is the part that's going to go on the bracket. So you want to put this side on first. Now I've already got water turned on inside here and it's been sitting in here for uh, a couple of weeks or so. Went on vacation in the middle of my rehab. So it'll be easier to put it on this way. So let me get that on because, you know, I'm filming with one hand and doing it with the other. So just a second. All right. So there we go. So we got one side in. I'm giving myself plenty of room right here be able to put on a, a fitting right here, put on the valve once we get it all connected. I'm going to get the red one on. See, there's the piece down there on the ground. And then I'll show you what to do next. There you go. So while I was putting this on, it kind of like flipped like that. Well, that's no big deal. You just take this and put it back. Because if I follow up the line, it's built that way into the, into the wall. I'm shaking because it's hot, sorry. Here we go. So I'm going to take this. You see this groove right here? It's going to go right inside that groove right there. And the same thing on this side. 
Uh, this one's already kind of gone in, which is fine. But that's eventually where it's going to be. So we kind of slide that in. Toward the end, it gets kind of tight. So what you have to do is kind of twist it. And then should be able to, there we go, shove it in, almost there, and twist it. So I got it in the groove. See on the back side here, right here, this little clip pops up to lock it. There we go, just locked in place. So once I do that here with the blue one, let's see if I can do this one handed to show you. Yeah, there you go. And that side looks like it's doing okay. There you go, I just got it over the lip. Just took a little persuasion. And now I just gotta get that side to click. There we go, that clicks. So now I've got the water lines. I'll tilt it to the side, so all I have to do is, as long as it's in the groove, which I believe it is, is just turn these purple things right here. There we go, that actually was pretty easy. So now that I've got those connected, now I just kind of, I'll end up screwing that up against the wall, nailing it into the wall or whatever. And if I need to, I'll pull some more of the, the hose through or pull it back. And right now it's got a lot of, a little bit of slack in the line. So I'm gonna, I'll pin it up to the side, but that's, that's how it works, folks. So we'll put this up and then we'll drywall it out. We got something from that. Um, my intent was to show you how to do it pretty easy and well doing it one hand is a little tough but it really isn't that that terrible to to get done so good luck to you if you have any questions feel free to ask me anything real estate involved and uh, also catch my catch my other channels if you're interested at watchbob on youtube.com thanks guys